Hello friends and welcome back to Palia. Today I'm going to be showing you what I like to do to farm flow trees. Now recently the game did introduce flow tree groves. Those happen once every in-game day at midnight. Those are only in Bahari Bay. However, I personally still find that I need more flow logs, so I like to farm as well. And this is how I do it. You want to get yourself to Bahari Bay, preferably the Bahari Central Stables. The easiest way to get to where we want to go is just climbing over the cliff here. Before you make your way over to where we are, you do want to make sure that you have all of your tools fully repaired because we are going to be chopping a ton of trees. I also like to carry some flares uh, with me so I can let people know when there are flow trees in the area. You are going to need a lot of food because you're going to be burning through it. And optional, I also like to carry smoke bombs just in case I see any interesting critters. And standard arrow for the same reason. So from the stables, climb over the mountain here. And you want to make your way to the geyser. On the map, that's just the geyser right here near Proudhorn Pass. Now the great thing about farming over here is that there's lots of trees just down in the valley there that are easily visible so you can keep an eye on them. And Pallium also spawns here, as you can see. Okay, so the idea behind flow tree farming is you want to cut down as many trees in the area as you can. And eventually, some are going to spawn back as flow trees. So the more you do this, the better chance of something respawning as a flow tree. So I just stick in this little area here, kind of wherever I can see the trees. Any of these guys. I stick in this area, I chop them down. Hopefully they, oh, look out little buddy. Hopefully they um, respawn as a flow tree. And if they don't, I just chop it again, rinse and repeat. And every once in a while I go over to that geyser and check if any pallium has spawned. Now, if you do have a group of friends to do this with, it definitely helps and makes the process a lot quicker because then you can have a few people chopping trees at the same time and keeping on top of that. But you don't need to do this with anybody. You can totally do this by yourself if you want to. And honestly, I've done this a few times and random players have just kind of caught on to what I was doing and stuck around to help. Now, I would like to mention that I am not the one that came up with this idea. I had one of my lovely friends, Tiki, show me how to do this. And then I showed a few of my friends and they were all very interested. So I figured if they were interested, maybe more people just who play the game would be interested. So it is definitely a bit of a waiting game at first. <laughs> you just keep chopping and waiting, chopping and waiting, but Eventually, more and more flow trees kind of keep spawning the more you chop them down. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Look at his little footprints. Oh, I love these little guys. Yeah, we've got our first flow tree spawn. So that took me... Oh, I wasn't really paying attention to the time I started. I don't know, I'd say, th I'd say that took me like a little bit less than half an in-game day. And now I bet more will start spawning. Yeah, there we go. They're starting to spawn now. Here's another. Actually, let's, um, let's make sure we hit it first. <laughs> 
And then I'm gonna flare it. And while I wait for people to come around, I keep chopping trees. As long as you've hit your flow tree once, you'll still be able to collect the loot, even if you're not there to actually chop it down. So feel free to keep chopping. There we go, yeah, see, look at this. Now they're spawning in. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did and you liked the video, please feel free to like the video. It helps me out a lot. And honestly, you could do flow tree farming anywhere you'd like in Bahari Bay. It doesn't have to be at Proudhorn Pass, but I prefer to do it at Proudhorn Pass just because from any standpoint around this area, you can see a lot of trees. And while you're waiting for them to respawn, you can also get pallium at the geyser at the same time. So I like to just maximize my resource gathering that way. Keep in mind that when you first start farming, sometimes it can be a little slow going, but once the flow trees start to spawn, you'll find yourself having two or three of them at a time. I'd like to thank my friend Tiki once again for showing me how to do this. It's been very helpful to me. I use it all the time. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.